This week we will begin our study of Ospensky's In Search of the Miraculous, the most profound book I've read in my life, the book that's left the biggest impact on me, made the biggest impression and I cannot wait to share it with you here at the channel and to work through it and study it together week by week working through the chapters and so this is a sort of introductory preview to that upcoming study as we've studied Plato's Republic in the past. And so just a few words about the book before we begin. The book In Search of the Miraculous documents Uspensky's eight years that he spent with Gurdjieff in Russia. It documents his ideas in the most concise and accessible way that I've um, found reading all the books uh, from Gurdjieff's pupils. This is the one that I feel has the most comprehensive outlay of all of the ideas. And it sort of points to an, a new way of living, an inner development, a raising of consciousness that allows us to react to the world, in the world, in a, in a completely new and different way. A way to wake up and raise consciousness in order to improve our lives and what Gurdjieff would say, to be a man without quotation marks, a true human rather than a machine asleep and just reacting to the stimuli of life but we'll get into all of that as we work through. So the series is going to consist of two separate playlists. One will be the source text just like um, we studied Plato's Republic previously. Well I'll read the source text and then there'll be another playlist that will consist of commentaries on the chapters and any questions that you guys may have and I encourage you to comment any questions that might come up during the readings because I'm going to be doing a lot of content about the chapters anyway, sort of expanding and clearing up uh, some of the ideas and concepts so that they're more easily digestible and I'll get to more about that in a moment. So I really encourage any questions that you might have so that when I'm making these videos in between the readings on Thursdays there'll be, I can have a specific uh, yeah, question in mind that I'll try and answer. And yeah, just a quick preview of what's going to come up in this video. Firstly, I'll share the actual books I have, my collection. First of In Search of the Miraculous. I have many different copies, as you probably imagine. And then I'll share some of the books that have helped me to understand more fully In Search of the Miraculous. The first time I read it, uh, yeah, I didn't really get anything out of it, uh, just a few paragraphs here and there which made sense and I understood and obviously the biographical nature of the book I could grasp but the ideas, they completely went over my head but it left a lasting impression that I want to be able to understand this book, there's power, there's knowledge, there's wisdom in this book and I must understand it and so I spent the next three to five years, everything that I read would be in order to help me understand this book more fully. And there's two um, separate works that helped with this understanding. The first is Ospensky's The Fourth Way, which is a um, sort of a transcription of his talks and lectures. It's in the form of question and answers. So people will ask Ospensky a question and he will comment and answer that question on The Fourth Way, the Gurdjieff ideas. And the next is a wonderful series of books I have the Psychological Commentaries from Maurice Nicole. And this, I believe, is a series of correspondences that have been published in the commentaries of Maurice Nicole. And these are super helpful, uh, yeah, to go deeper into the ideas and think about them from new perspectives and gain a deeper and richer understanding. And then once I've done that, I'll show some of the diagrams and quotes that I've noted down from my studies and then I'll just speak a little bit about what you can hope to gain from our study through In Search of the Miraculous. So all that's coming up, let's get right into it. So let's go. So to begin, let me share all of my different editions of In Search of the Miraculous. There's six different books here. And I'll begin at the beginning. Completely randomly, I went on to eBay and bought a second-hand copy. And this is what I received. Ospensky's In Search of the Miraculous. It's quite an old edition. Published in this one is um, 1969. So quite an early edition by Routledge and Keegan Paul. And this is the one I read first of all. And I haven't really 
uh, touched or read much of this after the fact. It sort of holds its own place in my life, the fact that this was the first introduction to the ideas. And yeah, it sort of stayed as a, yeah, a, a place marker on my bookshelf, if you like. I haven't read very much of that. This one is a, a first edition that I found. It is quite old and battered, 1951, I think. But this is a first edition and, like I say, hardback, a very old copy and edition. Um, and then these two next ones are identical copies. They're the, I think, Harcourt publication. So what you say, why have you got two copies of exactly the same book? And it's because this one is mint. It's uh, I've not read it, so the spine is perfect. All the pages are, it's like a brand new book. Whereas this one uh, has scribbles all over it. And the, um, yeah, like the, the covers are all peeling back and, and it's been, it's been well thumbed and well read. And this is the one I would, I would study and make my notes in. And these two are just a couple of other editions. This one, I think, could be a first edition of this in this um, Harcourt, Harvest and Harcourt press. So I think this is a separate, different first edition a bit later on. And this one is just a random Penguin Arcana version of In Search of the Miraculous. So many different editions there of Ospensky's In Search of the Miraculous. And the next book, also from Ospensky, that will help us to understand the ideas in In Search of the Miraculous is The Fourth Way. And again, I have several different editions. This one I picked up in Watkins Bookstore. This is actually a first edition as well of Ospensky's The Fourth Way. And this is the one I would have read right after the In Search of the Miraculous. I think I had someone who introduced me to Gurdjieff's ideas and he advised me read In Search of the Miraculous, then read The Fourth Way. And I would go back and forth between these two over time, as well as all of the other books, Gurdjieff's own writings and all the writings of Gurdjieff's students and pupils, which would help inform my understanding of Gurdjieff's life and his ideas. This one, again, is a Penguin Arcana copy of The Fourth Way. And this one is a vintage copy of The Fourth Way. And just like the well-thumbed copy of um, in Search of the Miraculous, this one has lots of notes and scribbles in it uh, from all my studies. And I'll share some more of those quotes and notes as we go. But next I have Maurice Nicole's commentaries. So here are the psychological commentaries of the teachings of Gurdjieff and Ospensky. And that, that's how I consider this work, uh, although it's Gurdjieff's ideas and forms and he was the guru the teacher who taught Ospensky I believe that In Search of the Miraculous was so impactful to me that without In Search of the Miraculous and only with all of his other students works and commentaries I wouldn't have understood the ideas so fully so for me just like Maurice Nicole here says the psychological commentaries on the teaching of Gurdjieff and Ospensky that's how I consider it too and uh, it took me quite a while to collect these because they're quite rare and hard to come by but there I have all the commentaries and so like I said this is Maurice Nicole's letters that he would write to his students in order to expand and help them to more fully understand the the ideas and this is something that I created it's uh, an index because the index that you can buy is just not very helpful so I, I've created here my own index table of contents so rather than pick up all of those heavy hardbound books I can just grab this sort of um, leaflet and scroll through and find all of the ideas and so let me just share with you quickly some of the um, quotes and concepts that I have at the front of this suspense I've got some quotes here on the front page and this is a a list of all the ideas contained in it so let me just read a few of the quotes that I've got like the most powerful quotes for me and um, all over my Gurdjieff and Ospensky writings and notes I will have the only thing is to awake because in In Search of the Miraculous you'll discover very quickly that according to Gurdjieff man is asleep He's a machine that reacts automatically to life and the thing is to awaken 
and we awaken by raising our consciousness. And it says here, uh, just a few more quotes, all work is on consciousness. So when we do the, the inner work from In Search of the Miraculous is to work on our consciousness, to be more awake in our life. And another quote here, it says, all that can be acquired in the line of development of consciousness can only be acquired by effort. We have to make efforts or even super efforts to raise our consciousness. And another one here, consciousness does not develop or grow by itself. Again, it's an active activity that we have to engage in. And I'll just read very quickly some of the concepts and ideas that we're going to come across in In Search of the Miraculous. Again, at the top, the only thing is to awake. The principle of scale, possible evolution, self-remembering, the law of three and the law of seven, which um, will be introduced on Thursday in our introduction. Magnetic center, ray of creation, man is a machine, asleep. Knowledge and being, unnecessary talking, the formatory apparatus, essence and personality, the magnetic centre and deputy steward, quiet place in oneself, chief, chief feature, what is I, organic life on earth, food of the, for the moon, higher mind, self-study and self-observation, life after death and esotericism. And um, yeah, at the expense of overwhelming you of all these ideas, that's not my intention, but it is to just share what a journey we're about to undertake by uh, studying this together because yeah it's very intense very dense and, and I'm not saying all this to sort of overwhelm you I'm just letting you know what's what's coming so is in a sense you know put your seatbelt on and strap in because for me this book changed my life and I hope it will do the same for you and this is a uh, a diagram or a combination of diagrams you'll see very early on, we discover many diagrams that Gurdjieff shared with Uspensky. And this is a, a combination of the three or four main ones. Uh, again, <laughs> just I uh, hope to show you guys how deeply and thoroughly I've studied these ideas and read all of the other um, books about Gurdjieff. There's two videos, one uh, books on Uspensky and another books on Gurdjieff that you can go back and watch. But yes that is ultimately the the nuts and bolts and introduction to this study which will begin on thursday where i'll read a um the foreword from marianne williamson from this book and then there's a wonderful synopsis from jacob needleman that i'll share that gives a very thorough and full introduction to the book and uh, i don't know if you can see here uh sort of the table of contents for each chapter come and it just lists all of the ideas and concepts that will come across in the chapter so before chapter one I will share what's coming up and then what uh, we can expect from chapter two as a sort of preview and then during the week I'll share lots of commentaries and other videos hopefully answering any questions that you might have but the thing that that I've took away from it Obviously, there's these laws, the law of three and the law of octaves or the law of seven. You have the Enneagram, which also helps to understand things, organic life on Earth, reciprocal maintenance also, Gurdjieff says. But for me, the thing I took away from it most fully is that we're asleep. Most people are asleep in their lives and they sort of just react automatically to things that have occurred or that do occur. And they react the same way every time because we're just, um, yeah, we're, we're machines, Gurdjieff says. There's a wonderful quote he says to Ospensky. Ospensky starts talking about psychology and Gurdjieff says, why are you talking about psychology? These are machines, so you should talk about mechanics. And um, just a, a brief note on the relationship between Gurdjieff and Ospensky. Ospensky had already published two books before he met Gurdjieff. Uh, a new model of the universe and tertium organum so he was sort of a, an intellectual figure in early russia or the 19th early 19th century russia and so this sort of tainted his relationship with gurdjieff because he had all of these ideas already he sort of was a full vessel if you like and um yeah i think gurdjieff was aware of this he had had his other students read Aspensky's work and and this would constantly come across in their interactions and their relations but 
Thursday, I'll read a foreword, a sort of introductory material. And then the Thursday after, we'll read chapter one. Like I said before, I encourage any questions that you might have, even from this video, I'll, I'll be happy to answer them in a separate video. This, I'm really excited to work through it. I normally read this book once a year, every year I will read it. And I haven't done my reading this year. And I'm very happy that I'm going to be able to do that reading on the channel and hopefully have some interaction with you guys. And if for some reason you have already looked into In Search of the Miraculous, like I know some of you have, and you're more serious about your study, I would advise you to head over to Patreon and become a patron of the Book Club Patreon community. You can find the link in the description and we can engage in a dialogue um, on that platform and have a, a more personal and deep conversation about these things. And I'm happy to do that. If, if you're really serious, then I would advise that. Otherwise, put your questions in the comments and I'll be sure to get round to them. And yeah, I hope it comes across how enthused I am to get into this. And yeah, I hope that I hope that you benefit half as much as I have um, from this book in my life and all that's coming up on the channel. So again, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't miss an episode and you can come along for the journey and, and tell a friend if you start working through the book and, and it impacts you. Why not tell some some like minded friend to get involved and come in and join us for our study? But yeah, all that's coming up. Thursday will be the first instalment, an introductory forward and synopsis, just to give us a, an idea and a framework of what's coming up. And I cannot wait to go on this journey with you. So guys, take care, look after yourselves, and I'll see you soon.